Well, ciao, buongiorno, welcome to, uh, welcome to another love letter from Italy. This is Dave coming to you today from my, uh, my apartment, uh, my temporary home, the kitchen of my temporary home in the, uh, in the lovely and very interesting city of Bologna where I'm winding down uh, what's been a very long trip. I'm, I'm sad to be leaving Italy soon, but I'm very excited about returning home to, uh, to family and community and my garden. <laughs> you know. Happy to, happy to be heading home. Well, today's uh, love letter is a more practical one, and today I'm talking about the subject of cellular telephones. And uh, I do get questions from time to time from people who, who ask about, you know, connectivity. What do you do about, um, about cell phones when you're traveling, especially in Italy? And uh, the answer is for me that I get a local SIM card because it's a good deal. Now, uh, there's lots of reasons to have a cell phone with you. I know some people just hate the idea of you know traveling with a cell phone. They think it makes the experience less less authentic. But uh, I, I per personally really like having a cell phone in my pocket when I'm traveling. I like it because of maps. You know, I took a walk this morning, kind of a random walk. Uh, to the uh, the west of here, and uh, just you know went to a new neighborhood that I hadn't been in before, and walked around and saw some markets and some stores and some interesting places, and um, had a coffee, and uh, you know I when it's time to come back, I got my phone out and said, what's the uh, What's the quickest way to Pratello, which is where I live right now? And, uh, you know, it told me the right direct route for walking. And uh, if I had had a bicycle, it would have told me the best route for that. If I wanted to go by bus, it would have told me the best route for that. So, so having a phone and uh, having access to, uh, to mapping information is a very, very useful thing if you're traveling. Um, now, I speak some Italian. Not a lot and not very well. <laughs> and I get into trouble sometimes because, you know, I know, I know the three words and I use them over and over again. Well, I know a few more than that, but, uh, but not a whole lot more. And, uh, you know, having a translator, having a babble fish in my pocket that I can use to, uh, to figure out, you know, how to say something or what something says on a, on a sign or a, uh, or a menu, for example, is, is very useful to me. Uh, I use an app called Reverso Context. Uh, not exclusively, I use some other ones too, but Reverso Context is a great app for when you're traveling and need to uh, need to find your uh, find your way around uh, the language, the local language, and it works out really well. Uh, also good for learning the language because it has things like uh, the conjugation of verbs and things like that. If you are trying to get technical with the language. Um, also, I like having the phone because of the local information. You know, I want to know what's going on in the city on a particular day and what were all those sirens about last night and why is this road blocked off and what exhibitions are happening in town on a particular day. So all that is useful to me and I really, really uh, appreciate uh, having access to the information. And finally, it's great to be able to communicate with people, either, you know, talking on the telephone or SMSing a message or, um, or sending a video call or whatever. You know, it's great to be able to do that. And um, I use, uh, you know, I, I use a local SIM card. That's what I do. And uh, here in Italy, and uh, because it's inexpensive and it works well, and uh, there's no, you know, weird roaming charges or anything like that, like we might have in the US if we were using a US phone. Um, and, uh, you know, I like being able to um, to send a text message to friends that I'm supposed to meet saying that I'm on my way or I'm running late or whatever. I like being able to call a restaurant up for a reservation. Now, when I call home, I don't use the uh, the phone as a telephone. I use it uh, using a, an app called WhatsApp. It's actually owned by Facebook, but uh, WhatsApp is a way to make phone calls and kind of get around all the international rules and all the different tariffs and everything. Uh, when you make a call on WhatsApp, uh, you do it outside of the normal phone network. The person you're calling has to have uh, WhatsApp on their phone too, so it's good in advance if you know the people you're going to want to call to uh, to go ahead and have WhatsApp. If you need to make calls to a regular uh, phone number and somebody who doesn't have WhatsApp, you can install Skype on your phone, and uh, Skype does charge a little bit, not very much, for uh, making international calls, but it's a lot cheaper than the euro a minute that my Italian phone company charges for uh, calls to the U.S. Now, um, 
I said I'm using a, 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 a Italian SIM card with my phone, uh, and that's true, um, but there are other options. And one of the things you can do if you're from the U.S., say, is you can call up your U.S. phone provider and say, uh, hey, uh, Verizon, hey, AT&T, hey, whatever T-Mobile and Sprint have turned into now, um, I'm going to be in Italy for a week or two weeks or a month or whatever, and I'd like to have uh, access to uh, phone and internet services on my phone, and can you help me out? And yes, they can for a lot of money. <laughs> they, I think the deal with the Verizon, I think the last time I heard about their deal was that it was, uh, <clears throat> it was like um, uh, $10 a day, so that's $70 a week, uh, $140 for two weeks, and for four weeks or a month, you know, $300. That's a lot of money to spend on a cell phone bill. Um, and uh, the, what, they, what you get for that money is pretty limited. You get, um, you get a little bit of, of uh, time, a little bit of phone calls, and you get, um, you know, you get a, um, uh, some data, a little bit of data, and you get a little bit of SMS. But if you go over that, the charges are astronomical. I had a friend who was here a few years ago, and uh, my friend had some family issues come up that they had to deal with, and uh, they were on the phone a lot. And when they got back to the U.S., they had an astronomical phone bill because, you know, they had to talk for long, long times to try to work out the the, the issues their family was having. So it's um, it's definitely a um, it's definitely a, a better thing I think to have a local SIM card now. Um, the plan I have right now, I'm on an international plan from a company called Tim. Uh, Tim is kind of like the AT&T of Italy. It's the, the old phone company. It's the one that's existed the longest, that has the most towers in the country and uh, the best connectivity, uh, at least from my experience. Uh, Tim uh, has an international plan uh, for, uh, for people like me, people who were born outside of Italy and are here for a while. Uh, that plan is uh, 10 euros a month. And for 10 euros a month, I get unlimited calling within the European Union. I get 1,000 SMS a month, and I get 70 gigabytes of data a month, all for, I think, 9 euros and 99 cents. Now, to get set up to start with, you pay a little bit more. I think you pay 10 euros setup fee to the, the, uh, to the Tim store that does the setup for you, and uh, you pay um, uh, $10 for a SIM card or 10 euros for a SIM card but you get uh, five euros back in credit, so it's not a bad deal. Um, and then, you know, 10 euros uh, a month, and a lot cheaper than $300, $300 a month from your, uh, your friendly U.S. phone providers. Now, to make this magic happen, there's a few things you have to do. First of all, you have to be able to prove that you were born outside of Italy. And by the way, these phone companies here in Italy, they also have something called a tourist sim, not usually not a very good deal. The international plan they have is, is almost always better. Um, tour sims cost more and have less benefits, to, you know, to put it bluntly. But you need uh, three things basically to, to, uh, to get this to happen. The first thing is you have to be able to prove that you were born outside of Italy, so if you have a U.S. passport that normally works pretty well. Um, or a U.S. driver's license even. Um, you also um, need to have an unlocked cell phone. And that's something that uh, a lot of uh, people from the U.S. aren't really tuned into because unlocked cell phones in the U.S. are not necessarily common because most people get their cell phones through uh, the cell phone company. They buy them from Verizon or AT&T or whoever. And when they do that, the phone is locked to that provider. You can't put anybody else's SIM card. SIM card is a little tiny card that makes all the magic happen in the, in the cell phone. And uh, you, can't, uh, you can't put somebody else's SIM card in. So you take your phone to the, the phone provider and uh, at the Milano train station, for example, there's a Tim store there and a Vodafone store there. And uh, you go into there and say, hey, I want to get a, a Tim International SIM for my phone. Can you, can you sell it to me? And they're happy to sell it to you. And then the colleague, takes your phone and puts the new SIM card and says, oh, oh, your phone is locked, too bad. Uh, so it's good to have an unlocked phone. Now, uh, the big companies, uh, both AT&T and Verizon, I don't know how Sprint works, they will unlock your phone for you. The rules are a little bit different depending on what sort of plan you have, how long you've had it, and all that sort of stuff. So if you want to get your phone unlocked or try to get it unlocked, uh, contact your provider, tell them you're traveling, you want to unlock your phone, 
is it possible, what are the rules, etc. And uh, they, will, uh, they will let you know and in some cases they'll be nice and do it for you. The other option is to go out and buy a cheap uh, used uh, cell phone. Now uh, this phone uh, is a very old one. This is an iPhone 6. I'm an iPhone guy. Um, you know, you can get whatever you want, is whatever works for you. If you like Android phones, that's fine too. Uh, but uh, I'm an iPhone guy, so I have this iPhone 6. It's an old uh, phone. Uh, I think Apple's on iPhone 13 now. So I saw them the other night at the Apple store downtown. Uh, lots of lust for them, but I'm not going to buy one quite yet, and especially not in Europe where it's a little more expensive, I think, for the iPhones. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, getting, a, uh, getting a used, unlocked iPhone off eBay is relatively easy. Uh, you can also maybe find one locally, but make sure that it's unlocked because if it's not unlocked, you're just wasting your money. And, it, you know, it's nice to have an extra phone around in case your phone, you know, has a failure or gets dropped or, you know, dropped overboard when you're canoeing up the river or whatever. Uh, it's really good to have an extra phone. Uh, and you can pick these up for probably less than $100, a phone of this age, if you, if you shop around. But make sure that when you buy it, it is an unlocked phone. It doesn't say AT&T iPhone or, or Verizon Android phone or whatever. It says unlocked phone, which means it should be able to work with any provider if they're being honest with you. So uh, that's really, really important. The third thing you need is a little more tricky. Uh, it's not that tricky, though. It's relatively easy. You need what's called a codice fiscale. A codice fiscale is um, your uh, fiscal code. And it's uh, sort of like uh, your tax code, your tax identification. It's not like a social security number, which is unique uh, and, and private and secret. Uh, it's actually something you can figure out because a codice fiscale is uh, algorithmically based. It's based on the, uh, the letters in your name and the year and the date you were born and uh, the, um, the city you were born in maybe some other things um, and uh, they're easy to get you can you know, if you're going to be taking several trips to Italy uh, you can contact the uh, the Italian embassy in Washington DC it's a, there's a form online you get and you get that form fill it out mail it off to them and a few weeks later you get your plastic codice in the mail and you're good to go or you can just get an informal one. And uh, there are tons of websites around where if you search for Codice Fiscale online generator, you will find them and they will ask you the questions that needs to know to, to generate, a, uh, generate a, a pretty good Codice. Now, if you're gonna move to Italy or make a lot of trips here, it's probably worth contacting the, uh, you know, going to the website of the embassy and, and getting a real one, but, um, if you're just coming for one time and it's just, you know, just go ahead and, and generate one and write down the code. It's a combination of letters and numbers. And uh, when you go to the phone store, you know, give the colleague that thing. And in some phone stores, they'll even do it for you. They'll even generate one for you. But, you know, it just kind of depends on the attitude of the, of the colleagues in the phone store and what the rules for that particular phone, phone store are. So uh, having one that... Uh, that you know you have in your pocket when you come having one that you've you know generated on the internet or got from the Italian government is probably a really really good thing. Well that's it uh, just a quick one I just wanted to talk to you just a little bit about uh, about cell phones because I think they're useful and I think if you're coming to Italy that it would be useful for you to uh, have this information and uh, you know as always um, your mileage may vary rules change from time to time um, but my uh, my recommendation is to uh, bring an unlocked phone, bring your Codice Fiscale that you generated online or you got from the embassy, and uh, go to a local Tim store or a local, uh, or a local um, uh, Vodafone store and get your phone set up for an Italian number and enjoy Italy while you're here. Well, that's it. Uh, uh, have a great day. Ciao. Arrivederci, and uh, if you like this, uh, you know, you could thumb up it, that wouldn't be bad, and if you are interested in more of this kind of content, uh, let me know, and I will be sure to, uh, I will be sure to do more like this, more travel tips and travel technology. Well, from Bologna, it's a beautiful day, I think I'm going to take uh, Pisolino, a little nap, and, uh, and then go out and see more of this beautiful city this evening. Ciao. Be kind to each other. Be nice. Bye.